everybody, what's going on? My name is Galaxy. Welcome to my Queen's Gate Lucky Dice location video. Uh, I'm gonna jump in and just try to try to get things started. First dice is gonna be right off the main path. As soon as you get to the area where you can you can see the beach and these beach houses, it'll be this very first house on your left when you come out. Uh, the dock right behind that has a lucky dice. Uh, like I said, this is Queen's Gate. I've already done Storing Valley, so if you guys have missed that, go ahead and check the channel out. It'll be there if you need those. Second location is just right up the beach from where we got this first one. Uh, it'll be the, the next set of houses, and uh, obviously this house that I'm running to, you just follow my path, jump up on the house, and there's a balcony in the front that has dice number two. All right, dice number three will be, again, a little further along the path, right where I marked. Uh, I'm pretty much leaving that house that I was just, just on. So, uh, you can just follow my path straight here to pick up dice number three. Now, dice number four, as you can see, they'll be the, uh, I'm right next to the Buttsville fast travel. So, you can go straight there, uh, and I'll, I run all the way there from, from the fast travel, so you guys won't get lost. Uh, and there's a garden here, and in the very back, as you can see, there's a dice. If you guys have already done this story, uh, not the story, uh, there's a side quest right here with, uh, involving a pink polka dotted goblin, so you'll recognize that area if, if you've done that. So, uh, dice number five is going to be, again, just right next to dice number four. So, you run over, you'll see a, a little faux wall, and you'll miss the dice three or four times before you click it. Uh, and then again, for the next dice, what we're going to do is go back to the Buttsville fast travel location, and then don't run the opposite direction, run the correct direction, and we'll hang a right, and there'll be a tiny little cave over here. Uh, there will be some enemies in there, unless you've fought them already, but uh, honestly, feel free to just run past them, like I did. I, I was like, oh, I'm going to fight them, and then they were kind of taking a second, so I was like, screw it, I'm just going to move on. That's dice number six. So for dice number seven, there's another little offshoot. It's a, a real noticeable on the map. You guys can't miss it. It'll be up here, the direction I'm pointing. I didn't miss it with my little marker there, but I got you going in the right direction. There's a lot of goblins right here too, but just like with the last location in the little cave, feel free to just run past them. That's what I did. Really no reason to kill them if you're just out here looking around for dice. Uh, over here by the garden where we got dice number four, I think it was, you'll see a catapult up on a little, little plateau. Go ahead and take that over to the, the honors tower. And instead of going into the tower or anything, you're just going to hang a hard left, go around it, and behind that, that bastion there, you're going to find dice number eight. So for dice number nine, it, it's going to be another short run from dice number seven. We're just going to go kind of back the way we came, but instead of going to the left of the castle, we're just going to stick to the right of it, go through this little underpass over here. And uh, I really encourage everybody to just run through the enemies if, you, if you've already been through this area and you're not keen on exploring and you just are really looking out for the dice. Totally just run past them, not really a big deal. Now for dice number 10, we are coming up on uh, coming up on a little parkour thing you have to do. I, I believe you can go left and it makes it a little easier. See if I had gone left, the walkway right there, instead of going all the way around, it's a little easier. But it's really not hard either way. Just follow my path, you'll see the dice up there in that pillar. You'll jump up here, jump on this catwalk. And if you get a running start, you can make it, grab on the top of this uh, ruined doorway, climb up here, jump over there, and easy access to the pillar. There you go, that was dice number, uh, number 10. So uh, we're going to fast travel again to a different location. This one is uh, kind of where the end of the story quest is for this area. But uh, if you turn around from that fast travel, uh, again, just one of the houses, kind of on the same balcony location as a couple of the other ones. Now, this area will unlock after you complete the, the story mission here. There's a uh, gate up that normally, but if you, you come here after the, the little defending part of the mission, you'll see there's a big water wheel with one of the dice behind that. And then if you just go around that to the bridge, you actually probably saw this one when you were coming in here because you come in from the path straight across. It's a little, little tease for you. Um, and then for dice 13 and 14, you have to get actually quite a little way further into the story from here. There's a part in, that involves blowing up the ocean that I'm sure you'll recognize if you've done that already. But um, you can get all of them up to this point without having to do that. But once you blow the ocean away, you can return to this area. And this is back by where the very first dice we got was, the first little set of houses by the, by the sea. You come down here, you'll get that one. And then as I shot across uh, to number, number 15, you just go this way. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this short, so uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, like and uh, follow for the dice locations to come, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.